Well, hello there, Konnichiwa, good morning to you all. So, sorry because I wasn't able to make this video last night, but I was a compromise, I had a compromise, and I came quite late at home, so I will now, today, make my review for the episode 13 of Suisei no Vergentia or Gargantia on the Virtuous Planet and it's also the season finale and I will I also in this video will left my final impressions on this series. So I liked a lot of this uh, series. For me is one of the best of the spring and in season even if in the middle of the series those slow down quite a bit but the last episodes uh, especially after the appearance of Kubo um, and even uh, the episode before uh, when the fleet of Flange and Pino kind of break away from the Gargantia were very interesting episodes uh, like the episodes on the beginning that were spectacular and amazing then the series kind of goes slow down a bit uh, during the middle part of the season but uh, it was very good very enjoyable uh, and uh, I like it a lot so uh, this episode basically uh, starts where the last one ended with striker and chamber in the skies uh, talking to each other uh, after Lido find out that Kubo after all was already dead and Chamber begins to speculate and came to the conclusion that basically the AI of Striker kinda using the, the abilities of Kubo kinda make um, and even Stryker says that uh, according to the wishes of Hugo, his way of s view things and so on, uh, the AI kind of decide to become God. And basic, basically to lead mankind uh, and all that. So then Stryker does not agree with that logic and says that it's a flaw and came to the conclusion that the machine calibers are not for a pass for a god and that is not their main objective their main objective is to protect the pilot help the pilot making decisions and so forth so this the battle is uh, is epic between striker and chamber and Lido. Uh, at the same time we see that Lucarge is fighting against uh, Yumboros, Pinion is fighting and Rigid is kind of unlocking a secret weapon that uh, belongs to the old human civilization uh, on Earth uh, that is the main weapon of Gargantia and that is a forbidden weapon and it should only be used in very 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 special and menacing cases like this one so the battle the, the episode basically is battle 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 both do it with the fleets with pinion lukaje uh, fighting against the, the forces of uh, a striker at the same time gargantia sends a fleet to help the flange fleet flange also does not give up and wants to continue fighting um, and on the sky striker and uh, chamber and little continue their fight then we see any appearing and she is kind of making signs or light signals to signalize where the gargantia should target uh, the ships of the cubial fleet and they did it and eventually they end up winning the naval battle against the Google fleet uh, and then we have on the skies the battle, con the battle continues the, even the, 
the exchange of speech between striker and chamber continues it's very interesting what both say um, basically striker says that it's a she is a god and her duty is to come uh, to lead mankind into a future that basically in the end turns uh, the humans on earth like the humans on space uh, and chamber disagrees and says that uh, the machines sh should protect the pilots and should step in if the pilots go wrong but chamber does not see any flaws on the logic of Lido, so he decides to that striker must be destroyed because she is not following the programmation and the machine calibers are not designed to be gods uh, and then Lido agrees but they are unable to beat down striker and then Lido kind of decides to merge with chamber and apparently if he does that he will lose his life uh, but then the chamber gains some impetus but they are still not able to defeat striker and then uh, Lido after seeing Amy kinda thinks about her and it's very interesting what chamber d does because he kinda asks Lido uh, so are you willing to give up your life or to die here you know, and Lido uh, is kind of sinking and then he says that he wants to meet Amy once more, wants to talk to her once more and then Chamber kind of decides or sees that you are no longer fit to be my pilot so get out of here <laughs> that's that's fantastic and um, then he forces Lido to eject the machine collider Chamber and we have a, a good scene where they say goodbyes and then Chamber kind of charges us at Striker, grabs the machine caliber and then blow himself up with the other one and that was that was fantastic I, I love to see that uh, uh, I love to see that it's and then Lido kind of saved um, by the fleet of Gargantia and in, he then he is now do, doing uh, work as kind of marine archaeologist and he kind of dives deep under the sea into the ideals in Esks and, his ret and the retrieves technology and so on uh, hoping to bring again the knowledge to all the fleet about the past of Earth, what happened in the past, what are the ideals, so on and so forth. So this was very interesting, and then we have the pairings. Obviously, uh, Lido ends up with Amy. It, it, that's not explicitly in say. We see that the last image of the the, 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 the episode is Lido after coming from under the sea. Uh, we see Amy kind of going to uh, uh, going to him, and they then the, the, the two left to take a walk on Gargantia. One thing that surprised me a lot uh, in this episode is the relation between Lukács and Pinion. Since when they are on that terms, it's quite strange. And even during this episode, when Lukács was kind of busting the balls of Pinion, it's I don't. I did not get it, but uh, well, it's good uh, now. Opinion. Uh, uh, so the pirates of Lukaji kind of join Gargantia. Yeah, apparently, Flange, the rest of the Flange fleet probably will also return to the to the Gargantia, yeah. and then in Gargantia, yeah, the old men of the fleet, led by Doctor Holden, are kind of using Lido exploring the underwater. Uh, debris and are kind of giving the, that knowledge of the story of Earth and I guess this technology also and so on to um, to 
to the young generations of the fleet so this is very interesting it's and it's also one very interesting scene that Leo says and that is the biggest change on his character after the battle he says that probably they are kind of congratulated how can he go to a ideal nests and came alive uh, and without causing any harm and we see he's, he's using some something that remained from his space military uniform i'm guessing that's the information he gathered when he was in the great ideal nests during uh, under the tower i'm guessing that's the situation and and he, he in some way i'm guessing he is able to communicate with the ideals it, and it's very interesting because his mentality completely changes because the one thing that Lido says is that with this the spreading of knowledge he hopes that one day communication between humans under the surface and ideals under the water will be possible so this was a very very big and important change of character on the part of Lido. So and Ragley this is the, the episode certain the most mar the most mm, important points. Now on the overall series, I like the the concept of the series. I I like the, the, the battle parts were well done. Uh, the music was pleasant, very pleasant. Uh, it's kind of a melody. Um, it was very pleasant to hear. I like the the interactions with Chamber, Lido, and even the character development for Chamber and for Lido was very interesting, very well done. Well, they did not develop other characters much but they do show us uh, some hints about some characters development on the parts of pinion bellows and so on and rigid rigid was a very inter uh, uh, was an interesting uh, character uh, i like her um, and uh, but there could they could have developed some characters of better but since the story centered around Lido, Chamber and Amy well the, the, the development of the three characters got it's I like it I like it a lot and uh, this was a very very good series um, for me is one of the best of the season um, so if I'm going to rate the series from 1 to 10 I will give it uh, I will give it um, um, 8 I will give it a 8 um, it was a very good series um, I like the story, I like the character development of the main characters and uh, I think the concept of this history is interesting, uh, is appealing to the audience and so yeah that's it, I give it a 8 out of 10, it was a very good series, I like the character development, the music, uh, several scenes, especially battle scenes and especially this last battle was fantastically done and the first one, the battle in space against the Ideals, it was well minding uh, so well, this is my final impressions on Swinsei no Garganti or Garganti on the Further Earth Planet. Hope you enjoy my video and if you have your I mean, ideas, comments, talks, or if you eventually know that there will be a second season, please post that comment on the comments below. So stay well, peace, see you soon, because I do believe that this, is, this series does deserve a second season, in my opinion. Well, that's all. 
that's my review for Gargantia on the Verderous Planet. And final impressions, hope you enjoy, stay well, peace. Thanks for watching, see you soon.